dark. Craig, we're getting ready for some long-range shooting in this one. These are two of the top three-point percentage teams in the NBA. And that makes them each tough to defend. The three-point shot adds a major element to your team. Spaces out the floor, really opens up the paint. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. I've got Vucevic. Donovan Mitchell is out there with Jennings. Then there's Batum, and it's Bridges in at the three spot. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. Batum makes it off the glass. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with San Antonio's head coach. Going into the first game of the season, he said we have to attack them inside and in transition. See how that works out. If they don't adjust, we're going to keep pressing it. Well, Kevin, that seems like a good idea considering his explosive team that he has. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball, but maybe the most impressive feat. He won three national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Here's Jennings. Two points. That one goes. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. The kick out to Kumbo. Here's the profit. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo's evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Now, here's Vucevic, and it's slammed in by Bridges. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. And the shot goes in. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. And we think of Donovan primarily as a scorer first. But there, fantastic pass. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Batum trying to break loose. And beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. And James gets it to go on the assist by Giannis. LeBron's got his third basket of the night right there. Now Jennings got a piece of it. Fast break now for Charlotte. Here's the profit. And it's the Hornets, another three. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Show some love for your honeybees. One more round of Spurs trail by 10. Honeybees. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That's his first foul. Seven. First personal foul. First team foul. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Sweet move. And James with the layup. And it's eight points for LeBron. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Mitchell looking it over. Can they get it? No, 
No good there. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. They're getting their first look of the season at San Antonio in this one. Yeah, and they swept this matchup the two times they played last year. They held the advantage on paper and on the court. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. Now, Vucevic following the three-point attempt by Giannis. Here's Batum. Sinks that one from the post. Such a creative score. Batum can do it inside from three, really anywhere on the floor. And here's LeBron outside. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Knocked away. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Curry with the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to Sacramento. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yeah, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. The Spurs making a switch here. White's checked in. And we find out a lot about teams at this stage of the year, Greg. It becomes pretty clear where the soft spots are. Yeah, this is where the general managers earn their keep. But there's plenty of time until the trade deadline when there's a clear issue. A GM's got to start working the phones and addressing it. Just five to shoot. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team. As to Vucevic. Back to White. Here's the three. Abdul Jabbar grabs the miss. Abdul Jabbar's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here's James outside. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabbar. James has got 14 points for the game. And Antonio calls timeout. You look at James, what a contribution. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for the Hornets. White the pass to Vucevic. He kicks it to Batum. They need this. Takes it inside. He takes it up and lays it in. Six points for Batum. Carving up the D in style. Love when Batum takes charge and finds a lane to the rim. Jordan finds James. Giannis outside. Here's the profit. And another three for Charlotte. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Mitchell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's his first foul. And the third team. There's White. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Vucevic. He dishes it to Batum. And James pulls it down. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Their third three-pointer in a row. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Outside, Batum. Six on the shot clock. Mitchell passes to White. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Charlotte. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And a lot of that was game plan. Putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offense end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away. And game plan, a great strategy to take advantage of it. And the Spurs with possession. After the basket by Charlotte. Mitchell passes to Vucevic to end the run. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. And that's okay, even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Here's the profit. There's the killer yeah. two-handed slam. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. 
Now here's White. A tight defense on him. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Batum. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. And that's it for the first quarter. And it wasn't been a very lopsided game. It's Charlotte running away with this one. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. This, folks, second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. It's all about pace for me. They have set the tone in that area, and they are playing fast, flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. Ante Jacumbo is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Curry. Then it's the Prophet. And it's Russell in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Harris outside. Ice ball movement by San Antonio. I pose Vucevic. Hornets foul of Bill Russell. First personal foul. First team foul. And there's the pass to Vucevic. Bridges kicks to Jennings. Shot clock at five. Back to Bridges. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Outside for Curry. The Prophet passes to Andacumbo. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Giannis has gone 50% from the arc. One of two. Harris dishes to Bridges. And stolen by James. This one for three. A shot by the Prophet. No good. And uh, San Antonio shooting 41% for the game. And there's the call on Giannis Andacumbo. That is his first foul of the game. Second. Ryan is checked in for the profit. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Jennings looking over it. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Charlotte has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Bryant finds Curry from deep Giannis. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Giannis has got his third bucket of the night. And here's Batum. 11 points for him in that last game against the Kings in Sacramento. And he also looked to attack at the defensive end of the floor. Three steals in that game. Can't be too physical with Nicholas Batum. That's a recipe for following him and sending him to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? There's the feed to Russell. It's stolen by Vucevic. There's the dish to Jennings. Lays it up off the glass. Jennings has got eight points. Good instincts from Nicola finding the open man. And Curry has it in the corner. From downtown, that one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Jennings passes to Bridges. Trying to find Vucevic. Gets it to him. The shot from the low post is good. Vucevic has got his first two points of the night. With this height, Vucevic, a tough matchup inside for any defense. Curry on the wing. And another three for Charlotte. Great ball movement there. The Spurs have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Bridges outside. Batum wide open. He fires. Drills it from outside. Batum. Batum's got four points this quarter. When the team needs him most, Nicholas Batum goes into attack mode on the offensive end. Curry's shot is good. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Jennings with the ball. He 
Bruce coming off a 13-point game against the Kings in Sacramento. Pass to Bridges. Fires from deep. And there's the foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. That's his first foul. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Hornets have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the second quarter. Curry kicks to LeBron. Good, and Curry gets the assist. 17 points in the game. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Outside Jennings. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. The kick out to Adetokounmpo. Curry on the wing. Russell trying to free himself up. Curry can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. A shot by Batum. No good. For Charlotte, they've gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Misses the three. San Antonio's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Nicholas Batum making the resourceful play, gifting the ball to a ready shooter instead of forcing something. Ante Takumbo passes to Kirk. Launches a three. Doesn't go for him. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Now here's Jennings. And it's Vucevic, that time on the assist from Brandon Jennings. Vucevic has got six. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Jennings passes to Harris, dishes it to Vucevic. Vucevic gets double teamed. Here's Harris, and the rejection by Giannis! It's Curry outside. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. Wow, he has been unstoppable from outside in the second quarter. The threes are just flowing. Jennings finds Bridges. Spurs passing it around. Two minutes Here's Vucevic. The the Hornets pull it in. Two minutes. Adetokounmpo with the ball. Bridges covering. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time for Vucevic. Passes it to Jennings. That one rolling around and rims out. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. For three, Kobe. The shot comes out, so the Spurs will take it the other way. Kicks it out to Jennings. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Ante DeCumbo's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Russell. From deep, James. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. The defense has to shut LeBron down at the perimeter. He'll sink that shot all night. Harris outside. There's 47 seconds left in the first half. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. Some changes for Charlotte. Abdul Jabbar comes in for Russell. And the Prophet sub in for Kobe. The Spurs also with the sub. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Gary Harris. From 12 feet out, Abdul Jabbar kicks to Curry. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. To see. Well, they're doing a good job getting points in the paint Defense here in the second. A different look now for San Antonio. Josh Hart comes in for Bridges, and it's wide in for Brandon Jennings. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To stop the run. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. It's San Antonio. Basketball. Mitchell outside. 
And that's a great job by Giannis of altering the shot. This has been a dominant performance defensively. The Prophet with the bucket. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets sitting at a lead of 40 points. Welcome, everybody. It's been a three-point barrage for them. And guys, now let's see what games have yet to... Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by James. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. On the court for San Antonio. They've got Jennings. Batum is off there with Vucevic. Then it's Bridges. And it's Mitchell in at the two. The Prophet passes to Curry. The kick out to LeBron. And it's off from three-point range. San Antonio's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Mitchell passes to Jennings to the paint. Here's Vucevic. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Even while being fouled, Nikola Vucevic stays strong, enduring the contact and winning the N1 chance. Charlotte's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. The Prophet passes to LeBron. And here's up to the Kumbo outside. Hands it from downtown. Giannis has got 11. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Rob. The Prophet passes to Giannis. Abdul-Jabbar outside. In the corner, it's James. Good, and Abdul-Jabbar gets the assist. LeBron's got 23 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's stolen by Abdul-Jabbar. Curry kicks to Abdul-Jabbar. Here's the Prophet. No good on the triple. The Spurs shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. You gotta love what he brings to the table. Nikola Vucevic, not too shabby from the line either. He can shoot it. Spurs shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Batum scanning the floor. Jennings for three. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. San Antonio's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the energy and athleticism of Bridges is off the charts. He is a tough cover for the defense. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for San Antonio. Miles Bridges at the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the stripe. I tell you, Bridges, you see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts are coming along. The Prophet, and there's the drive. Yeah. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. The Prophet's got 19 points. The Spurs have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. On to Nakumbo against Batum. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Spurs ball. And stolen by James. Onto the Kumbo against Mitchell. James outside. 
Here's Giannis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got his third assist on the night. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. And Vucevic pulls it down. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That's foul number two for him. And the Hornets making a change here. Jordan's checked in. And the pass to Batum. Ball's knocked loose. It's all about Takumbo for the finish. And the jam by Antetokounmpo. And it just doesn't take many steps for Antetokounmpo to get up the floor on the break. It's just steal, sprint, and finish. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Knocks it loose. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Rebound San Antonio. Bridges has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Kicks it to Vucevic. Shoots from 12. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And here's Abdul Jabbar. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And Jordan gets it to go. And those aren't the type of three point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Outside Jennings. And nothing is falling for him right now. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. James finds Abdul Jabbar. And here's Jordan outside. Over to the left wing. Charlotte moving the ball around. No good from outside. San Antonio's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. They grab their own miss. Beyond the arc. Good, and Abdul-Jabbar gets the assist. Abdul-Jabbar's got his fourth assist in this one. San Antonio's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The Prophet passes to Giannis. Now Vucevic, 10 points for him. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. Jordan with the steal. Here's Giannis. And he goes right over Miles Bridges and slams it down. Oh, good job there. Jordan getting him in transition, and he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. They get a hand on it. Here's the Prophet. 19 points in the game. Abdul Jabbar misses. Hornets foul call. And what's your take, guys, yeah, on the hustle stats for the Hornets? Their defense. It's their foul. defense. It has been downright incredible so far. Being disruptive and coming up with steals left and right. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Russell comes in for Giannis under the Goombo, and Irving subbed in for James. Jordan. And now it's time for the rookie watch with this season's assist leaders. This is the newest crop of playmakers in the NBA. The Spurs have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. And the Hornets making a change here. Lions checked in. Fires the three. Connects from three-point range. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Free throw no good for Irving. And guys, it's crazy. He really was a late bloomer. You know, Irving didn't have the big-time amateur career you hear about with some stars. But boy, he's more than made up for it. Oh, and here we go. Kobe's got another fast break chance. And Irving throws it down. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense. A 
off the floor. Really and I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. It's stolen by Bryant and finished oh. off by Bryant. And how fun is it watching Kobe take flight? Uh, his throwdowns are downright ridiculous. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. Kobe That's his first Bryant. foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And not the guy you want to send to the line. Antonio. He has been Kobe automatic. For San Antonio, they have knocked line. down eight of nine Two free throw shots. attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Kobe White might be new to the league, but he doesn't play like it. Confidence and ability are beyond his years. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Hart. Mitchell outside. Down low, just five on the clock. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And on the way from Irving for three. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got his third assist on the night. 32 seconds left to play here on the third. Here's Folks. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Spurs have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for the Spurs. At the line. For and he makes both free throws. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. First, the motor of Bryant never Second stops. Team. Even inside where he goes right at the deep. At the the Hornets have gone four for four five for the charity stripe in this one up to now. And he makes the first. Kobe Bryant at the line. Bryant hits them both. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's White. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Takes a three. White, good. Kobe White's White. got five now. Kobe White doesn't need much time or space to get off that catch and shoot. And Kareem throws it down. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. And your Hornets you Oh, we have the chance now, folks. Let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Abdul Jabbar is out there with Howard. Then it's Zion Williamson. Then there's Edwards, and it's Ball in at the one. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And it's White missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Edwards kicks to Ball. Shoots over White. Rebounded by the Spurs. That's one he knows he should have drained. Passes it to Hart. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Bank shot, no good. Williamson from long range gets the three point of the fall. Williamson's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Hornets. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. Pass to Eaton over Abdul Jabbar. And Eaton gets it to go. Check out Kobe White dropping a dime to the wide open man. What a pass. Ball against White, and the shot goes in. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Harris outside. There's the screen from past the arc. Rebound by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 
And Jewel Jabbar's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Ball feeling it out a bit. And there's another one for the Hornets. And, and I love Ball's awareness. When the mid-range J is available, he is more than happy to take it. Back to White from 13. Rebounded by Howard. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Another slam in the career of Dwight Howard. He's done that a few times. San Antonio's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. The pass to Folks. Basket is good, the assist Assisted from Harris. By. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Pass to White, knocked loose, and that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. James checked in for Charlotte. Back to Hart. And there's the call on Zion Williamson. Zion. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Eaton. Outside White. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And Eaton gets it to go. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. For Charlotte, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. There's Ball with the three. It's hauled in by Folks. For San Antonio, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Here's White and another basket for San Antonio. And, and after a scoreless first half, you're starting to see signs of life here in the second. Here's Ball. Drops one in from the wing. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Harris outside. Back to White. Harris outside. And a miss there on the triple. Charlotte's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Williamson, the pass to Edwards. Ball with it. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Ball's got nine points now in the quarter. And Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. They set the screen. Let's a floater go. And the layup good by Hart. Hart's got his first points of the game. That's nice work stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second, Taken third overall in 2020. The mellow ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Irving's checked in for the Hornets. And so he hits both. The Spurs have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. And White kicks to Hart. Shot from 12. That one doesn't drop. And the Hornets now going the other way. Left side, ball. There's Williamson with the three. That shot, no good. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Poked loose and stolen by Williamson. All alone and finished off by Williamson. This is the level of talent Zion Williamson has to work with. It's unbelievable. I love watching this kid play. Passes it to Harris. Spurs passing it around. A good finish at the rack yeah. off the slick feed. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Out to Edwards. Nobody near Irving. Trains it from beyond the arc. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, 
you can stack up points in a hurry, but it can go the other way as well. Heart, no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Williams and dishes to Howard. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Williamson, the pass to Edwards. A rebound by the Spurs. White with it, guarded now by Irving. And it's White missing. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 12 to four run right now. Williamson kicks to Irving, back to Williamson. Ball from long range. Eaton grabs the miss. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Hornets. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for the Prophets. You know what stood out to me was the anticipation defensively. He sensed what the offense wanted to run, then found ways to disrupt that and cause turnovers. Ryan is checked in for Edwards. San Antonio also making a switch. Bridges checks in. Here's Folks. He's guarded by Howard. Bridges passes to Folks. Bridges trying to free himself up. Folks gets the bucket. And you gotta like that they found something positive here. Something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. White looking around. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly. And the other...